Today we're looking at a brand new multimeter from Finercy, the DMT-99, intelligent and colorful. Sounds like me. We keep on testing. Shout out to Banggood.com. Thanks so much for sending the DMT-99 in for this review. <laughs> this is one name we are seeing a lot more of in the new year, and this is one of only a couple more I've got coming up on the channel shortly, so stay tuned for that. Finercy, a name really that we never heard of before. Man, they have some very, very cool it's tech. It's cool tech. Look at this gorgeous little meter. Hey, this is not that expensive. Retails for around 55 bucks Canadian, about 44, 45 US dollars. Unbelievable for what you're getting. And this is definitely a multimeter that you haven't seen before. Sales in the sizzle. That's what my grandfather used to say. And man, oh man, was he right. Look at that sizzle. Intelligent color screen multimeter. Oh, gorgeous looking black with the gold emblazoned. Furnace logo here at the top. Really, really nice marketing, I've got to say. Even on the back of the box here, no waste space. There are all the specs, the lowdown on your meter. And when you open up the box, it gets even better. Look at the quality of packaging here. Those are the test things. We'll look at those in a limit. But look, look, big foam inserts protecting your precious meter from that uh, bumps along the way. And uh, yeah, all in all, just really, really great, great packaging. Check out how pointy the tip of this test lead is. Unbelievable. Look at that. I'm not even gonna touch that with my finger because that spells pain. Whoa, and these are big honking test leads as well. So for me at least, they're gonna fit my hand really, really nicely. It's 1000 volts, uh, maximum rating on here, Cat3. Nice rubberized and, grip. So, ooh, first impressions are beauty. I just had to get in closer. Look at that test lead. I mean, it's a little bit longer than usual as well. And it's hard to see with all the studio lighting, but uh, it's actually gold tipped too. So man, oh man, loving it. A picture is worth a thousand words. And here is a really good point. Look at that. Um, nice, big color. Photos here telling you all the functionality of the meter itself. Comes in multiple languages, but um, very, very nice user manual from Finercy. Jeez, I sure hope I'm, I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I am. I apologize if I'm not, but I, I, I think I am. And of course, the multimeter itself. Wow, what a great size. And uh, look at these test lead holders here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of like a PLU material. It's very, very soft, very, very soft. So um, nice quality plastics being utilized here. Um, oh, we've got a little hanger there going on. And uh, what do we have here? Model DMT-99, five volts, one amps, 1,500 milliamp hours, because yes, it has a chargeable lithium ion battery. Oh man, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? And we're seeing a lot of this nowadays too, this little tiny stamp of approval, meaning it's gone through that quality control. Tilt stand on this as well. Um, not bad, I would have liked to have seen some rubberized uh, something on the end there, just to give a little more grippy grippy. But that being said, you know, it's not going anywhere. And uh, hey, it's got a tilt stand, so that's a good thing. And once again, the battery is rechargeable. That's why we've got that USB-C cable with the uh, USB-A tip. Rechargeable battery, oh. Let's start by removing this screen protector. Oh, nice, nice. Holders do a really good job holding the leads in place. Uh, really, really snug. And I gotta say, they look really good too. Awesome. If you plug your DMT-99 into your laptop or computer, forget it, it's not gonna work. No, it's gonna look at it as a chargeable point, which does not not function. So you can't export anything to a PC or laptop. Oh, that's really too bad. So one of the cool features with this meter is the fact that you have multiple modes for recording data. Hit that menu feature. Brings us into regular mode, which we're just in, just your standard meter mode. We also have recording and monitoring. Okay, let's take a look at recording first. Let's 
So now we are in recording mode. You can select between different settings, so volts, AC, DC, as well as resistance, capacitance, a continuity, and diode. So you can have a, a visual display, a graph output for any of those ranges. Kind of, kind of neat. So for instance, right now we're sitting at a uh, 12.996 volts and you see that uh, graph display coming in at 13 volts and if we bring that voltage down the graph is actually going to display visually what we're seeing in terms of the actual readout itself so down to 7.9 volts and you can see how that display is going down so if you're doing some sort of monitoring or an analysis in real time this could be super super handy and the other mode we have is something called monitoring. Basically, it's the same as the regular mode, except it adds threshold to the normal mode. So you can actually set a threshold, uh, for instance, less than a minimum, uh, within that minimum, and maximum, and greater than a maximum, and you will get an alert. And the threshold settings are located here under, you guessed it, threshold settings. Voltage, minimum max, current, min max, and temperature, min max. So here is where you specify your threshold for that feature. So I'm going to change the maximum threshold for volts from 220. It's going to bring that down to, oh, let's see here. 94 volts. Now, in theory, once we go over that 90 volt threshold, we should get an alarm. Let's see if it works. Okay, so right now we're sitting at around 9 volts. And we're bringing it up about, oh, 18 volts. And yeah, that's pretty close, 17.996. Now, remember, we have that threshold set to 90 volts. Okay, now I'm going to plug it into an outlet, 120 volts. Obviously, we're over that 90 volt threshold, and we're getting that alarm. So, very cool. As I explained earlier, we can't go and uh, take out our uh, measurements, export them to logs, Excel, what have you. Unable to do that with the meter. We can, however, go into the history record and view the measurements uh, in past tense, like so. Also, we have a system settings feature where we can switch between themes. Also, I have two different themes with the Finercy, the standard default, as well as theme two. And Theme 2 has a little bit larger font. Uh, yellow is a little bit more predominant in the labeling of the menus. Um, just a kind of a bigger, bolder overall look. Finally, we have our reset functionality. And we have multiple languages, including English and Chinese. By the way, those are the only two languages supported at this time. Finally, if you need to reset everything, well, fear not, you can. We have a all reset button here. Brings us back to the factory defaults. So if something got messed up, you can always revert to the original system settings. And finally, here's the about screen. Tells us what version of firmware running. In this case, version 2.1. Looking at precision accuracy right now, DC volts, 5.000 is what we want, 4.999 is what we get. One count off, definitely in spec, as this is a 0.5%, three digits, plus or minus. Take a close look at now that 10,000 count screen, 2.4 inches, full color TFT display, 240 by 320 resolution. That is a gorgeous looking multimeter display screen. Looking at the bar graph right now, slightly slower than a standard bar graph, but uh, nonetheless, it is workable and uh, just doesn't have that refresh rate. Now, there's no mention of the refresh rate or speed in the user manual, but um, yeah, it's definitely not the fastest. Right now, I have the meter in live wire mode and a really nice... There's our live wire. And make no mistake, it is very verbose in letting you know you have a hotspot. Now, another cool feature is the NCV non-contact voltage mode. Look at that. Look at that display we're getting right now. We are now in NCV. So we're getting a really good visual here, as well as audible, fairly loud. Let's say for Nurse, he's done a really good job in incorporating good visuals with the meter. Hey, why not? I mean, this meter is sort of taking it up a notch on the edge, techno kind of a look and feel, and it's giving us that same kind of techno feel for some of these measurement schema, which I think is really, really cool. And by the way, in terms of size, it's not the biggest meter out there, but it's certainly not the smallest. No, I mean, these are all pretty well mid-range meters we're looking at, and the Finercy is the smallest of the bunch, even right upside uh, beside the Habotest. That being said, though, it's, it's a good size meter. All right, next up is diode mode. 
Ooh, I am anxious about this one. Okay, here we go. Red LED lit with a forward voltage drop. Same with the green and the yellow. Yes, indeed. Now over to the white. Yes, with a forward voltage drop and the blue. No problemo. And we have no issues as well testing diodes. Now we don't have that nice audible beep. Oh, that would have been just so perfect. No audible beep in diode mode. Output voltage in diode mode, very respectable, 3.9 volts. Continuity mode, here we go. Stock default test leads. Not bad, loud, latched. If they go too fast, it's gonna skip. But that being said, hey, I've seen a lot worse. Let's try the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Honestly, not seeing any difference between the Pro Masters or the stock default gold tipped probes. Wow, an absolutely blistering 85.4 decibels. Maximum output volume in continuity. Oh, that is loud. We have a 0.5 ohm resistor. Let's see how this meter does with that. Default test leads. Let's see if we have any resistance on those test leads. 0.100 of an ohm. Now, unfortunately, we do see a rel on the meter, but that is only for capacitance. There is no rel mode for resistance. Uh, anyway, here we go. 0.5 of an ohm. And coming up as 0.4. Next up is capacitance. I have 10,000 microfarad, 10 millifarad capacitor hooked up, and that was pretty fast. 8.798. Uh, yeah, and that's about right for this cap. So, hey, good stuff. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? This week's shout out goes to Finland. Hey, friends, thanks for watching. Okay, quick peek now at milliamp, sitting at one milliamp. We have that another Finerci, the little 003A. Okay, here we go. Let's bring it up to two milliamps. Coming in as 1.997 on the DMT99. Four milliamps, coming in at 3.995. Five milliamps, oh, so close. 10 milliamps, spot on. Up, up. 15 milliamps. And look at that. Look at that. Spot on. We'll max it out now at 20 milliamps. And that's a booyah. Good stuff. And let's check out that battery. Rechargeable, 3.7 volt, 1,500 milli milliamp hours, and 5.55 watt hours. This has a fab date of December 2023, brand new battery. And I'm telling you, this thing has an amazing uh, lifespan. I have had this meter turned on now for probably about 25 hours, and it is still more than 80% full. So this has an incredible uh, battery life for a rechargeable system. Man, it doesn't get much better than this. Here we are now on the inside. Man, oh man, you don't see that every day in a multimeter, do you? Gorgeous black PCB. Oh, I am loving that. Starting off over with the fuses below, we have a couple of 5x20 ceramic fuses, both on the milliamp as well as the high current side. Both are rated at 250 volts. Here is our current shunt. And look at this little makeshift. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but that is what is holding the inputs split variety of course but i do like this gives it some extra support as well as just generally looks nice and clean so kudos for nursey i like what i see only ptc over here at the top there's our relay and here we have another ic let's take a little close look on that one here we're looking at the main multimeter ic part of the sd7500 family uh, soc with built-in 24-bit analog to digital conversion 16,000 bytes of otb memory uh, designed with ultra low power technology in mind here is the multimeter ic yeah moving up or down however you want to look at it well let's move up shall we there's our oscillator over here and look at it. eight hertz is the operating frequency and to help out that multimeter ic we've also got the ch32 v303 this is an industrial grade 32-bit risk v core processor also funny enough at the bottom of the meter 
we've got a tiny little switch and it has it's almost like a reset switch now there is nothing uh, indicating what its use is but uh, i wonder if that's just some sort of a master reset if uh, you know all goes wonky but uh, hmm, interesting. Anyway, overall, super clean board. Uh, really, really nice attention to detail. There's the ribbon cable for that gorgeous display. Finally, if we take a look at the top of the meter here, there of course is our USB-C charging port. And here is that NCV filament for the NCV non-contact voltage detection. Nice and long, it does a really, really good job. So there you have it in a nutshell, um, a really, really, good well-built meter a uh, very clean and once again i just love that black pcb man oh man that sure takes it up a notch other side of the board nothing much to report other than a, a diode clamp and of course the uh, display itself overall really nice attention to detail i'm liking what i'm seeing let's put it back together come back with my closing thoughts and by the way the meter shipped without any shielding but hey that doesn't mean you can't make your own Closing thoughts, the DMT-99 from Finercy. Oh yeah, go out and grab this bad boy. You know, this one is a keeper. Not only does it look good, not only is it innovative, but man, oh man, you get so much bang for your buck. Banggood has a spring special coming up at the beginning of March, and you can grab this bad boy for only $31. Oh man, that is hard to beat. Links and coupon codes in the description below. Thank you, Banggood. This is such a cool meter, stellar design, exquisite TFT display, and man, those customizable menus, oh, that just makes it oh so much more great. And that battery life, once again, is really amazing. Man, oh man, I have yet to see such good battery life in a rechargeable system. There are a few cons, mind you. There's no way to export that saved data. That is just too bad. A software front end would make this oh so great. Or at least being able to take that data out of the meter, man, that would make up for a lot. And we need more language support. English and Chinese, that's great. Tilt stand, probably the only hardware portion of the meter that was definitely lackluster. Ultimately, I haven't seen such an innovative meter in quite some time. For Nursi, you hit the nail on the proverbial innovative head. Good job. So go out and grab one of these because it is definitely worth your money. The Finercy DMT-99 Multimeter Extraordinaire gets a solid four out of five stars. Yeah, this is one uber cool meter that you've got to add to your multimeter collection. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.